concrete design. So, lecture three, section analysis and design of reinforced concrete beam. So, stress strain curve for concrete. So, this side is stress, this side is strain. So, for concrete, we can see it's a parabola curve until it will be a plateau. So, the maximum stress is known to be 0 0.85 FCK gamma C. So, under unit Excel compression, concrete develop a strain up to epsilon C2 from which point the strain increases while stress remains constant. Ultimate design stress is alpha FCK divided by gamma C which actually equals 0 0.85 FCK divided by 1.5 which is 0 0.567 FCK so this is the ultimate design stress the 0 0.85 is a factor to allow for the difference between the bending strength and the cylindrical crushing strength so the design you strain is so this tau y is equals to fyk over gamma s divided by es because as we know es is the young modulus young modulus is actually equals to stress divided by strain so this is strain so actually this is here at first and then es is this side but in order for us to find strain, we need to put this young modulus this side so we can find the strain y. So at ultimate limit for FYK equal 500. So when it's 500, we start in, into it the value 500. And then ES, we also sub in the young modulus value, which is 200 times 10 to the power of 3 and then gamma s is 1.5 so we get 0 0.00217 we realize they are not a unit here because strain strain is the unit divided by unit so there is no unit here so distribution of strain and stress across a section so stress are very nearly proportional to the strain which generally occur at the loading level and counter under working condition just at the serviceability limit state that means when the structure is not filled it's under working condition stress actually proportional to strain however the distribution of strain at failure when the compressive strain are within the plastic range and is associated with the design for the ultimate limit state alternative to B so actually what is A B C we can see from the diagram A is the triangular which is here right is the stress out very nearly proportional to the strain you can see this stress diagram is nearly proportional to the strain it's nearly the same thing and then B is this one is the distribution of strain at failure when it's at failure is something like that like a parabolic shape and then straight line this is the rectangular parabolic the stress block there are three of them and then c is a simplified alternative to b which actually is an equivalent rectangular which is a square to make it simple so this is how to derive the formula so firstly we need to use the ratio method to derive this out because as we can see that this epsilon sc for this part we need to use the because epsilon sc actually is equals to this part the x minus the d prime so this one is this one and this one we use the ratio method actually this one over this epsilon cu2 which is the same as this same as epsilon cc and then epsilon cc the whole thing is actually is x because it's actually ratio method this is x so when we put this epsilon cu2 over here it will become this way after that 
we can also derive the other one which is this epsilon st is equal to epsilon cu2 this one d minus x because d is the whole thing so you need a d minus n we need to find from here to here the length and then the other one will be x because from here to here so we also use ratio method and then we combine both equations we get this and then for epsilon CO2 is 0 0.0035, epsilon Y is 0 0.00217. So we can substitute this inside here. So finally, we will get X is equal to 0 0.617, but we know that X is smaller than or equal to 0 0.617. However, in the EC, the Euro code 2, the limit places is x smaller than or equal to 0.45d. This is even safer because this value is even smaller than this. And then design of beam, design moment. There are tributary area design load. And then section design, there are three type rectangular T shape or L section shape design of beam effective flank width of T and L beam this T is L area of reinforcement deflection and then this is how the load transfer from the slab to the beam to column to foundation so slab beam and then to the column and then down there to the foundation. So, rectangular section, the singly reinforced. So, this is the way to derive the formula. So, firstly, for equilibrium, ultimate design moment M must be balanced by the moment of resistance of the section, which means we want to find the moment. Firstly, we need to use this FCC times Z. The you know, moment is actually equal to force times the distance. So we use this FST times Z, but how can we find this F? Actually, we have derived it previously. So is the formula that we have derived the ultimate design stress. We know the stress when we want to find the force, we stress times the area and we can find the force. So we use this 0 0.567 FCK. 0 0.567 FCK and then we times the area. The area is B, the width times S. S is the spacing. So we can get the force. And then the force we still need to time z z is the distance so this is the moment and then we know that s is equal to 2 bracket d minus z we can derive this from here because d is actually equal to z plus s over 2 and then we can get this one and then we substitute this into this so we can get 1.134 fck b and then d minus z and then bracket and then z and then we can get k k is equal to this m divided by bd square over an fck so we just put this here and then put this here and then simplifying this we finally get this the red color border the box the red color box formula is important so we can know that z is equal to d bracket 0 0.5 plus square root 0 0.25 minus k over 1.134 and then fst equals to fyk divided by 1.15 times as this fyk over 1.15 actually is the stress of the steel so this stress of the steel's time area we can get the force of the steel fst this one so FST finally is equal to 0 0.87 FYK AS. So we arrange this formula. We can get AS equals to moment divided by 0 0.87 FYK Z. But why suddenly there is a moment? Actually, we can see here. Moment equals to FST Z. 
that means FST is equal to Z over moment so it's Z over moment is equal to F FST so Z over moment so we interchange the place so this AS AS is finally equal to moment over 0.87 FYK Z so rectangular section singly reinforced also so this is a graph that show the lower limit z is equal to 0.82 d this one when x is equal to 0.45 d because this 0.45 d actually we have determined it previously this is the lowest x is equal to 0.45 d and then z is equals to 0.82d which is the maximum value allowed by the code for a singly reinforced section this is the largest value that allowed and then this is the lower limit z for the concrete class smaller than c50 slash 60 and then the ultimate moment of resistance for a balanced section the moment of balance is FCC balance times Z balance and then Z balance we know is D minus S over 2 this is what we get from here also we rearrange it is equals to D minus S slash 2 is Z balance and then this is equals to 0.82d because we have derived it from here so substituting for fcc balance and z balance so we substitute it so fcc balance is we know at this particular point the k is this 0.167 so 0 0.167 the moment we actually this is 0 0.167 so we rearrange it the formula bd square bring it over here and then fdk bring it over here so we can know that the m balance is 0 0.167 fck bd square so when design moment md is such that larger than m balance then the session cannot be singly reinforced and compression reinforcing steel is required in the compression zone that means now we are designing just singly reinforced but as long as if this m balance this md is larger than the m balance that means the md is larger than m balance larger than this one then it cannot be singly reinforced it, there must be a compression reinforcing steel that is required in the compression zone so this is example one determine the ultimate moment of resistance of the cross section shown in figure given the characteristic strength of FYK equals to 500 Newton per millimeter square for the reinforcement and FCK 25 Newton per millimeter square for the concrete so we can see this is the diagram we can see b is equal to 300 this 520 this is x as is 1470 and then s and then this 0 0.567 fck so we can start our job we can equip fcc equals to fst first because previously actually we know that FCC is equal to FST one is the force of the steel one is the force of the concrete so how can we do we need to use the ultimate uh, method because both of them are the same so firstly 0 0.567 FCK BS so again this one actually has been derived very early which is the concrete I have derived which is this one 0 0.567 fck but this is rest so this need to be multiplied by the bs the area and then for the steel is also the same thing steel also is the 
still stress still stress times the area so for still stress is 0 0.87 FYK times AS so equivalent both so 0 0.567 times 25 this one 300 B and then S we don't know because it's not given yet and then 0 0.87 times 500 this one FYK and then times AS AS is this area 1470 therefore we can find out S equals to 150 millimeter and then we can find X because previously we have derived that X is equals to S is equal S is equal to zero point eight X. So X is equal to S divided by zero point eight. So it's one eight eight millimeter. And then finally because we need to know most importantly we want to find what we want to find is this ultimate moment of resistance. We want to find this ultimate moment right? we need all these we need all these elements so we have found S we know B we know FCK we do not know Z but actually Z because we can easily know Z because Z is actually equal to D minus S slash 2 so we have this information we can just directly substitute inside so 0 0.7 times 500 and then AS and then D minus S over 2 and then finally we can get this moment which is 284 kilo newton meter so for example 2 so this is the ultimate design moment to be resisted by the session in figure is 185 kilo newton meter so this time they give us the M determine the area of tension reinforcement we want to find AS Required given the characteristic material strength uh, FYK and FCK give us both of this but we need what we need to find out is the area the AS so we need to see which formula is suitable for us so you can see this formula is quite suitable there is an AS moment FYK and Z FYK and Z Okay, but we do not have Z so this formula cannot be used either so we need to think which one we must use first like for example this one Z equals to D for this one we can find Z to substitute inside this however we need to know K what is K that's why actually we have this formula to find K so firstly we need to find K first K is equals to M over B D squared F C K. So substitute 185. Remember to change the unit because kilo newton and then meter also need to change. So it's 10 times 10 to the power of 6. And then divided by B 260. D squared 440 squared. F C K 25. So we get 0 0.147. And then K, we need to be careful because K must be smaller than 0 0.167. So whether is it true or not, smaller than 0 0.167. If it's larger, we can't do singly reinforced. We need to do the doubly reinforced method. So finding K give us the key to find Z. Can you see? Finding K so that we can find Z. So we know that Z is equal to... 440 0 0.5 and then square root 0 0.25 so k is 3 in the blank 0 0.147 z so is 373 so finally we can find as using this formula which is the m185 m stand to the power 6 divided by 0 0.87 divided by 500 divided by 373 so we get finally 1140 millimeter square so very fast now we stay with me bear with me now is the doubly reinforced so in doubly reinforced here is b here is d d prime everything 
So, first thing first, we need to find Z balance. Z balance previously is we have derived D minus S slash 2. However, we need to put S to different. So, S is equal to 0 0.8 X. So, we substitute inside, become this. And then, we know that X is equal to 0 0.45 D. How we know this? Previously, we have actually been derived this. You see, X equals to 0 0.45 D. So, sub substitute in, we can get 0 0.82 D. And then one thing interesting about doubly reinforced is, it's not 2 only, it's not FST equals to FCC only. Not like this thing, you see, FS, FCC equals to FST. No, there's one more element. If FCC plus FSC equals to FST, which means these two add together is equal to this one. So we have some different derivation. So that with the reinforcement at U, 0 0.87 FYKS, this one we have determined previously the steel FST, the FST equal to this. Can you see 0 0.87 FYKAS? 0 0.87 FYKAS, and then this FCC. FCC also we have determined previously 0 0.567 FTKBS. Determine here this one. 0 0.567 FTKBS. We have determined also. So just left this one. We have not determined. How have we determined this FSC? Because as we can see that it's at this line, it's at this direction. So actually it's equals to this 0 0.87 FYK A prime S. The only difference is both of them is also the steel stress. But the times the different area. Because this F S C come out from this area, so it's using the A S prime instead of the A S. So this is only the different. So S is equal to zero point eight times zero point five D. So equal to zero point three six D. So we convert want to convert it to D. So we substitute this S into D. So we get this is the, the final equation. So move down. We can start to get the important equation. So taking moment about the centroid of the tension steel M is equal to FCC times exact balance and then FSC because FSC is this long this so it's D minus this D prime so this is the length so we can balance the moment we take this point so FST no need to use it anymore so we substitute in FCC so from here we get FCC is 0 0.567 FCK BS no it's, it's this one because we have updated we have converted to the BD so it's 0 0.204 FCK BD times times that balance which is 0 0.82 D then we have determined here that balance is equal to 0 0.82 D and then plus 0 0.87 FYK a prime s and then d minus d prime the same thing so we rearrange the formula we now can find a new value which is a s prime is equal to m minus 0 0.167 fck bd square over 0 0.87 fyk bracket d minus d prime so multiply both sides of the equation by z equals to 0 0.82 and rearranging it so we can multiply it this will be the final answer we get a relation between the a s and also the a prime s and then z balance is 0 0.82 d so from here we get these two equations which is 
important because it's under the bracket. This one is substituting the k balance equals to 0 0.167 k is equals to this. So this one is substitute k balance at k, so we get this two. This is without the substitution of the k balance. That means what? Where is the meaning? That means when we have k balance, we have the value of k and k balance, we can use this equation, but we do not have to use this two equation will be enough. So this is a typical design chart for doubly reinforced beam. So the, uh, the y-axis is m over bd square, the x-axis is 100 as over bd. So limiting constant value for designing rectangular section, concrete class less than c50 slash 60. So limiting the x balance per d to 0 0.5. 4, 5, maximum z balance 0 0.82 d k balance 0 0.167 d prime over d 0 0.171 1. and then maximum percent of steel area so this some of the actually covered previously so we go to the example of the doubly reinforced so determine the ultimate moment of resistance of the cross section shown in figure Given that the characteristic strength of FYK 100 newton per millimeter square and FCK 25 newton per millimeter square for the concrete, so we use these three elements FST equals FCC plus FSC. So, these three, so first thing first, we have FYK, we have FCK, we also have AS, we have B or not. B, we have this B, yeah, we have B, and then S, we do not have S, and then we have Y, K, A, S, right? So, from this, we actually can find out S, why is S, S is 195 millimeter, and then from S, we know S, we can find X, because S is equal to 0 0.8 X, so X is equal to S divided by 0 0.8, it's 244 millimeter. X divided by D, which is 244 divided by 510, we get 0 0.48, which is smaller than 0 0.617. So where do we actually get this? It's from previous slide. Yeah, this one. X divided by D should be smaller than 0 0.617. So it's smaller than 0 0.617. That means the tension still will have yielded. So after this, d prime over x is equals to d prime is 50 divided by x. X is x is 225, which is equals to 0 0.22, which is smaller than 0 0.38. The compression still will also have yielded. Because th this one is smaller than 0 0.38 is from here, d prime over x. d prime over x is at here, d prime over x, 0 0.38. And then finally, m is equal to fcc bracket d minus s over 2. This is z actually. And then this fcc is equal to 0 0.567 fck bs. This is actually at the previous slide and then fsc bracket d minus d prime and then it's equal to 0 0.87 fyk and a s prime this is also at the previous slide so we substitute all the value inside and then we can get 443 kilo newton meter so design of flank beam increase bending strength by using flank area so as we know this is flank and then this is the web area so actually you can increase the bending strength by using the flank area bf the length so as steel area can be increased easily so these are a flank beam this flank slab web the width VW in one way slab system. So when beam are resisting sagging movement, slab act as a compression flank. A member may be designed as T or L beams. 
with hogging moment slab will be invention and therefore the beam must be designed as rectangular section at intermediate support of continuous beam where hogging moment occur the total area of tension reinforcement should be spread over the effective width of the flank as shown and then this is some of the formula be efficient it equal to 0 0.2 bi plus 0 0.1 L not smaller than or equal than 0.2 L not B efficient comma I smaller than or equal to BI. So 2 BI is the clear distance between the web of adjacent beam. How long is the distance between the point of contraflexion along the beam? All of this is not really so important. The most important is we derive this formula, which is the B effective is equals to B W plus 2 bracket. 0.2 b prime plus 0.07 l bracket and this must be smaller than or equal to b w which is this one plus 2 bracket 0.14 l so you will be wondering what is b prime b prime is also equal to b1 or b2 so b1 b2 is this the length of this Oh, we can calculate L by using this formula. L not equal to 0 0.7 L. So if you want to find L only, we can do L not divided by 0 0.7. So this is the question. And then design of flank beam. Flank section in bending at ULS. T section and L section with their flanks in compression can both be designed or analyzed in a similar manner because the flank generally provide a large compressive area. Compression still is usually unnecessary. So sometimes the flank will give us compressive area. So sometimes we do not need any compression still because we know that the concrete itself is a good has a good compressive strength already so no need you can save and then for the singly reinforced section two conditions have to be considered the first one the stress block lies within the compression flank and then the second one is the, the stress block extend below the flank so the first one lies within the compression flank actually means this one s is smaller than hf because the stress block here can you see it lies within inside this flank area which is the HF must be larger than the S while the other condition which is the stress block extends below the flank is this condition is S is larger than HF this condition which you can see that S here is larger than this HF condition so singly reinforced T beam Bracket S is smaller than HF. The beam can be considered as an equivalent rectangular section of breadth BF equal to the flank width. So same thing, K is equal to M over BF D square FCK. If S is smaller than HF, so this S, if this S is smaller than this HF, then AS is equal to M divided by 0 0.87 FYK Z. So we have an example here. Determine the ultimate moment of resistance of the T section shown in figure. The characteristic material strength are FYK equals to 500 Newton per millimeter square and FCK equals to 25 Newton per millimeter square. So let's see how can we solve this question. So for now we can use back the formula which is FCC equals to FST. So we sub in the value 0 0.567 FCK BFS 0 0.87 FYKS. So solve it, you can get this S and then you can get X is equal to S divided by 0 0.8, which is 70 mm. Hence the stress block does lie within the flank. Now this 56. 56 must be smaller than HF, which is 150 millimeter. And then we now can find the level arm also Z because it's equal to D minus S divided by 2 and then we get 392 millimeter. 
Finally, we can find the moment about the center of the reinforcement, the moment. We can use directly FCC because we have one only times Z, FCC times Z. So we know FCC is 0 0.1567 FCK and then times this BF, S and then Z. So finally, set in all the value, we get the answer.